Friends, if you follow my YouTube channel, you know that I've embarked on a very ambitious project to attempt to get three different radios, one Singar's ASIP and two Spearhead handheld radios reporting their GPS positions to each other. This is part four of a four-part series. The four, this is the fourth and final installment, uh, and it's a little shorter than the others at only about eight minutes, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the agenda for this episode is to look at troop movements, both moving the ASIP radio uh, and watching how the map stays centered, and uh, similarly moving the spearhead radios uh, up and down the block. Okay, everybody, so we're going to do another little test here where... Turn the air down a little where uh, we, are, we have the Singar's ASIP in the car and we're going to drive up and down the block and we should see the position of the round dot. Round dot is us. It should start moving and I believe the map should also reorient itself uh, as we get uh, further and further away from, from the starting point. Okay, so we're driving in front of the house here. Oops. Okay, you can see us. You can see the dot moving down the street. And what I'm curious to see is will the map move? Yeah, the map is moving as we're moving. Let's see. Be focused in. So the house is really no longer visible. Let me zoom out. I'll zoom out and see if we can get it again. It's really uh, maybe shaded. Okay, so you can see uh, you can see the square dot. That's the house, and you can see where we are now. The square dot. I left one of the radios, the spearhead radios, running. So now I'm going to turn around and we'll get uh, back close to it. I'll leave it at this scale, the 46 meter scale. See what happens. Okay, now we're on the move back towards the house. And as you can see, the map is moving automatically. So the map always centers at, your, at the location of the radio you're carrying. So the radio that's with you always stays in the center. The F3s, all, all threes, is, what, is the spearhead radio that I left at the house just so you can more easily spot the location of the house. Now we're going to go up a different street, another corner here, and we'll see how that looks. Passing the house. Okay, we're kind of behind the house now. Driving past the Amazon Prime delivery truck. Okay, as you can see, we're very far now. I'm going to turn back around one more time and call it a day. Okay, and we're going to zoom in one, one, one notch here, and so we can see it move a little faster, the map, and then you'll see the house appear as we get close to it. Okay, and there's the house. And we're gonna park in the driveway. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we successfully demonstrated how the uh, enhanced control display unit will update the map based on your location, keeping your radio always in the center of the map.
Okay, so I have moved the Singar's ASIP to the outs outdoors uh, so we can do a test uh, where it can get good GPS. So I've enlisted my, uh, my wife here who is going to uh, keep pressing a button on the display every time it turns off so we can hopefully do this experiment. And in this experiment, I'm going to walk around my uh, up and down a street or two with one of the with this radio, the uh, the spearhead radio, and watch it uh, watch it watch me move. Okay. Okay. Test. Test. We're going, We're to, going walk to walk the street, up the street and see what happens. See what happens. Oh, I am transmitting. I'm pressing the push to talk button approximately every ten steps. Now walking past the house, and we're going to walk up the street here, and we seem to be getting a few more satellites. Well, congratulations, you have sat through the final episode of this series for Situational Awareness. I thank you very much for your patience. I know this is a rather long series. I hope it had some interest to you. Uh, and um, I think that's it. Uh, there is one other thing I could do, and if I decide to uh, do a, a Part 5, I'll be sure and post it. And what I could do for that Part 5 is demonstrate how, um, uh, how waypoints work. And I could see myself uh, going up into the woods and uh, trying to follow some poorly uh, delineated trails uh, and set some waypoints and make sure I can get back okay. Uh, but short of that, thanks for watching and please subscribe and like this video. Uh, lots of other interesting content sure to come. Thanks. Well... <laughs> I left this spearhead. I left this spearhead radio out, uh, and it's, uh, just as I came back from this test, it started to pour. Uh, it is pretty much underneath the cover of the uh, of the well here, the roof, and it is technically a combat-style radio. Uh, I will have to review the IP specification for water ingress uh, but I'm guessing it's okay uh, but anyway yeah it is pouring out there I'm not sure if the rain volume is coming out particularly well on the video